Okay, so uh, we're just going to show off some of the. Uh... Just make sure you're not showing us what they just thought they were showing. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been uh, modifying uh, Sisyphus because we took it to uh, uh... the Royal International Air Tattoo. Yeah, and some of the mods that I did didn't really survive too well. Um, to be so, fair, it was in a car packed full of stuff, and um, uh, there were quite a lot of people. So he, um, excuse me a second, Diesel. Oi! 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 <laughs> ah, put the back out. <laughs> oh no, there's like a slippery surface. Of, oh no, it's all going wrong. Yeah, right this. Oh. Ah. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what I was saying before the cat pissed me off. So are we um, fixing the, fixing up the wheelchair after Riyadh? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, after Riyadh. Yeah, there were lots of people there, so I'm, I'm not surprised that uh, these ones took a bit of a... Yeah, so the lights on the back that I did the first mod um, fell off, basically. The glue wasn't good enough, and some of the lights on the front fell off. So they've been re-glued back on, and I've made a new bracket for the back. So they're all connected up and ready to go. Um, they work through the touch so give us a give us a run through of what you can do with sisyphus then right well okay so this is usually where you plug in the, the wheelchair so most of them have like a um specific charger so in the, in the good old days when i first had my wheelchair you had uh, a limited amount of charge on your charger so you had about 200 charges per battery and um you, you couldn't overcharge them so you had to charge them for a specific time period so we're really lucky these days because this is a trickle charge, just like my uh, my manual wheelchair, the powered wheelchair Pegasus. So um, luckily Sisyphus is a trickle charge, which makes it a lot easier, which means you can just leave it plugged in because I'm terrible about remembering stuff these days. Um, so I guess run down to the control. So this is the on button. Um, and uh, this is my control. You can get different um, types of control depending on what's best for you. So originally, when I first had my wheelchair the first time around, I had a control where I um, a kind of little joystick virtually and I used the, my um, thumb like this for movement. However, I've got a lot worse when it comes to my hands since then. So um, I got this as an option. So basically, um, it, it means that I can just rest my hand on there and, um, and then get quite a good low range of motion from it. This is the speed button. So you, it's basically you can go down, and this one actually runs through weirdly. Um, goes runs through, and if you press it too much, it will go slowly. So I suppose that's if I'm being impatient, it punishes me for it. Yeah. <laughs> and it does another neat trick. It does a very neat trick actually. So the the trick for this is that um, I can tip myself at an angle, and it can go all the way back. So I could fully sunbathe in it, I reckon. So you you can go fully back in it. Yeah, and so then you can goes, effectively sleep, and then it goes all the way down to to it's it, the normal level, I suppose. But it's uh, it's an incredibly smooth move as well because it doesn't hurt, which usually it would. But the reason why I have that as a feature is so that I can get in and out of it easily. So if I'm really sore, I can tip so that I can basically have the footrest to the side. So it's uh, it's an easier lift off if I'm finding it hard to actually lift off. Yeah. Um, but equally, it means that I can take the pressure off of my hips by actually tilting it back slightly. Because one of the, the main problems I found with Pegasus, hence I'm doing this at the moment, <laughs> is that if I'm uh, if I'm directly on my hips, it causes an immense amount of pain and it makes what little mobility I have left incredibly useless because I can't do much with it. Um, and it also has a horn, but the horns are rubbish. Go they on. always are. Are you ready? <whistles> it's better than it used to be, but it's still a bit... It sounds a bit like the end of a microwave. Yeah, but we're going to do something about that, aren't we? Because we've got other we've got other features on it, haven't we? So yeah, it's, and, and that's better than my old horn. My own horn, my old horn sounded as it was proper like. Eh. Um, but yeah, we're going to do we're going to do stuff on that. And now, you've also got phone phone holder next to uh, it. Yeah, I do have my phone holder next to it, and on this side I've got my um, my power. Your accessories. Yeah, my power for my um, accessories. And um, I've also got my switch, so I've got a cigarette lighter plug there. And I've also got my two USB chargers, and of course they're waterproofed. So, so that I've got two places that I can switch on my um, lights and battery. So I can switch it on from there, or I can switch it on from the back there, but it's easier from the back. Yeah, so you've got, a main, so you've got yeah, main, so a main switch there. Yeah, and then... Off, so the lights go out on that, and on, they come on. And then what have you got on this? Right, so... I have my strobe lights, which are yellow flashy lights. 
So when you're uh, doing your marshalling and things, you can... Uh... Yeah, when I'm support, when I'm doing support to ops and we're doing my marshalling and stuff like that, I can still help out a marshal because, damn it, I want to. <laughs> yeah. So you can still be centre of attention. <laughs> I don't really want to be the centre of attention, though. That's the yeah. problem. But I'll go, I'll go with it because it means that I still get to do the useful jobs. Um, I've got my work lights slash my floodlights so that if, I, if, if something goes wrong with the wheelchair... Look how bright it is. Yeah, yeah, it's bloody blinding. I'm getting blind from it and I'm going to see the reflection of it. You turn it off because it's killing the camera. Um, and the other ones. And then you've got running lights. So these are lights, yeah, they're on all four corners and they're programmable from an app on your phone. So you can, they're RGB, so you can have many colour you like. You can have them strobing, you can have them going to the music, you can have them going to the music from your phone. So mm. Basically, you can do whatever you like. So at the moment, they're just on a random flash and there's a. Uh, one on every corner so at night you can imagine when she's driving through a festival or something well it means they truly can say these days that i light up a room yep <laughs> yeah because you can you can you can turn up and have it go to the music how exactly. funky is that that is quite funky and then i have my um dc outlets so that's basically my plug here so as you can see as i was saying earlier that's got a separate plug on off of that so that um obviously if i just want to keep my phone plugged in and in the phone charger here, um, my phone charged or something, then I can plug it in. But then it means that if I don't want it to um, charge because I'm getting limited battery, but I need the lights, then I can make sure that I don't eat the battery out with that. Yeah. So that's the accessories we've done on Sisyphus. She's, yeah. uh, or he rather. I was going to say he. He is good to go. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're ready to go for the next trial. And I'm looking forward to it. Oh, God, I can't wait.